Have you ever considered how knowing where you come from can make you a more confident person? Hey everybody, it's Summer. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. And if you're new, be sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a minute of the content that I'm providing to help you be a more confident, resilient leader of teams or just your own life. So I'm continuing the series about a hundred lessons my centenarian grandma's taught me. So if you saw in my last video, I introduced the book and why I wrote the book. I even have another video on why I wrote the book. And I told you I will be doing a video on each and every lesson in this book. Today is the first lesson. It's the first lesson. 100 lessons and they're broken out to lessons on confidence, lessons on resilience, lessons on leadership, and lessons on life. Because those are the topics that I speak about as, as a professional speaker, as a coach, and as a consultant. I focus on confidence, resilience, leadership, and life. And so I wrote this book about my grandma and the lessons that they taught me, and I'm super excited to share. And so the first, the first lesson or the first section is lessons on confidence, lessons on confidence. And so the first lesson is embrace your origin. Lesson one of the 100 lessons my centenarian grandmas taught me, lesson one is embrace your origin. So my grandma's lives were deeply rooted in their origins, shaping their identities and values. They instilled in me an appreciation for our family history, demonstrating how to honor and embrace my roots. From their stories, I learned that understanding where we come from creates a sense of belonging and self-awareness, which are important for confidence, and resilience. Now, understanding where you come from provides a foundation for personal growth. It instills a sense of identity and belonging. It helps you to navigate through life's complexities by anchoring in a set of core values and traditions. This awareness can empower you to make decisions that align with your deepest beliefs. So understanding your origin, understanding where you come from. And so for me, my grandmas were a big part of that. They were a big part of that. And as you know, if you've been following me, you know I, I wrote books with both of them. So not only did I know where I came from, my original hometown, Bolivar, Tennessee, and talking to my grandmas, I learned more about where they even came from, not just from a, a geographical place, but from their lives and their um, experiences and what they've been through. So I embrace my origin and not only do I, I embrace them, I make sure I try to, to continue to learn about where I came from, who I came from, and, and I try to instill that in my children or my child, my grandchildren and generations to come. And so with every lesson in this book, and with each of the hundred lessons, there is a live the lesson page. There's a live the lesson page on five tips on how to live each of the lessons. So lesson one is embrace your origin. Know where you came from. Know where you came from, know who you came from. But here are five tips that can help you live this lesson right now. No, you can't have that. You can't do that. Have you ever heard that voice, maybe from someone else or deep down inside of you saying, no, you can't. Ever felt like you weren't good enough, smart enough, or brave enough to have what you really want? You know, that promotion, that degree, that dream job, that house, that fulfilling relationship, that business, that life you've always imagined. Well, I'm confidence coach Summer Owens, and I'm here to tell you, yes, you can have it. And yes, you can do it. I'm the person to help you make it happen because I've been there. I faced doubts, fears, and setbacks head on. As a teen mom who was told my future was bleak, I chose to say so what to every obstacle I faced. I didn't let circumstances or self-doubt define me. I've probably done what you want to do. I've earned degrees. I've had dream jobs. I've launched business, written powerful books, bought houses, all while defying the odds. Now I want to help you to say so what to your fears and limitations too. I want to share my secrets to success with you in my Get the Guts to Go For It program. If you're tired of watching others live the life that you want and you're ready to turn your someday into today, let me help you embrace the so what mindset. Build your confidence and make your dreams a reality. Grab one of the limited spots for this program at GetTheGustToGoForIt.com. I can't wait to help you go for it. Live the lesson, embrace your origin. Number one, research your family history. Research your family history. So you might not know where you came from. You might only know your parents and you might not even know your parents. And that's okay. And that's okay. Now um, it's easier than ever. <laughs> Now it's easier than ever for us to to learn uh, where we came from. So there are 
there are tests that you can take. Ancestry is one. Ancestry.com is one. I know there are several others that you can take where you can understand where you came from. You can go back several generations to understand where exactly where you came from. So I did take Ancestry, the Ancestry DNA test, and I got even my roots in Africa, where I am majority Nigerian, um, but I'm also Scottish and Irish um, and even uh, uh, partially fin uh, Filipino. And of course, I knew that um, from looking at myself and looking at my grandparents, we're all a, a mix of a lot of different things. But then I know just more directly the the, the city I'm originally from, Bolivar, Tennessee, where both of my uh, grandparents grew up, both sets of my grandparents, well, actually my one of my grandfathers grew up in Memphis, Tennessee and spent time in New York. But in talking to them and learning about them, um, I, it helps me to understand who I am more and how their stories even shape my life and where I am and how I live today. So research your family history. Talk to, start with to just talking to your your parents and talking to your grandparents and, and talking to your aunts and uncles and whoever might be around who can help you to understand your family history. Number two create a family heritage book or website compile stories photographs important documents basically just get the information together whatever information that you can get together about your family put it in a in one place where others can see it and others can share and one thing that i did uh, was in writing that book with the specific stories of those of my two grandmothers but we also have a facebook group for our family where there's lots of information about our family so there are lots of ways that you can compile family information and family history and keep it and share it with others. It's amazing what you find when you start to understand who else you're related to or where you came from or who's been, uh, who are your ancestors and they help to shape who you are. But compile that information so it's easily uh, seen, easily shared. Number three, participate in family traditions. And so most families have certain traditions that they they that they have, whether it's family reunions or getting together at holidays, those things like that. Sometimes we don't participate in those. And it's lots of reasons. <laughs> Trust me, I understand find family dynamics and family challenges. But where possible, participate in family traditions. And if your family doesn't have traditions, create them. Create, start to create some of those family traditions that can can bring family together so that you can not only enjoy each other's company, but learn more about each other. And, and what's really big for me is support. It's family support. So you can come together and find ways to support each other. And again, I'll be the first to tell you, I understand the challenges with family dynamics. And I know what's sometimes not <laughs> easy <laughs> uh, and not possible, but where possible, make an effort to participate in family traditions or create new ones. Number four, visit places significant to your family visit places of significance in your family so visit the towns or the countries even the places that have been meaningful in your your family's life so for me one of those things is going back to Bolivar, Tennessee, which is where my grandmas grew up and one of my grandfathers grew up and going back to the house that they lived in, the houses that they lived in and the places that they hung out, even with my mom, just going back to see her high school and, and then uh, and even the restaurant she went to, the clubs she went to. <laughs> Um, and the places where she worked, which was Western State, Western Mental Health Institute, which is called Western State in Bolivar, Tennessee, where I volunteered. I talked about that in my book. But just going back to places of significance to your family, again, can help build a connection and an understanding for the people in your life, the people, your family, your family members, your ancestors. And you'd be surprised at what it can teach you and instill in you too. Number five incorporate lessons from your ancestors into your daily life and so that's what i've actually done with this book it's created these lessons that i've gotten from my grandmas that i do incorporate into my daily life that i have and 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 over my entire life have tried to live and understand and now have have in this book these different lessons that i can apply to my life every day so even um, this lesson number one embracing your origin is when i when i think about my grandmothers even my aunts and uncles and great aunts and great uncles who are now gone and i think about their lives and what they went through when i'm having a hard time and i'm feeling sometimes feeling like giving up like we all do at times i think about their lives and what they went through and what they overcame and so i apply that resilience and some of those things that i that they display into my daily life so what are some of those things that you can incorporate into your daily life that that your ancestors did 
that your ancestors did, their work ethic, their resilience. What are some of the things that you can incorporate into your daily life? So that's it. That's lesson one. The hot first lesson out of 100 lessons my centenarian grandma's taught me. So embracing your origin, that's number one. 99 more lessons to go from powerful lessons and life-changing lessons that i am i'm sharing with the world through this book and these are the videos that i'm creating to go with them so stay tuned be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when the next lesson comes out thanks have a good one